Okay, once you get the Google sign-on screen, for you, you can, when you first set it up, you put in your own little logo. I chose the cup of coffee because I drink coffee constantly. Uh, you can probably tell by my jittery speech. But anyway, so I do is I put in my password, which you don't need to see that. Press enter. When the password goes away, all my little icons will pop up. You see, I've got um, the Google Chrome browser, my Gmail, Google search, um, Google Drive, which is where I store all my files. The thing about Google Drive, which made this a little bit a little bit more difficult. Oops, we got to turn that off. That was in my NPR app. Um, the thing about Google Drive, it's you don't really have a hard drive with a lot of space. You don't use programs um, the way you use with a PC or with a Mac. You use Google Apps. It's sort of, sort of like a hybrid between a laptop and um, an iPad. So you, you download apps from, or you don't download, you use it, install them on your browser. Everything runs from your Google browser. So you click New Tab. Now I'm in the Google browser. This shows all the places that I've been. Um, so in the Google browser, this is where you'll do everything. This little, little icon right there, right here, we have, that's my apps. It shows the apps I have installed. And I used to use a free word processing program. Right now I'm using Google, um, Google Docs, and they've enhanced it the way it, from the way it used to be. It used to be just kind of like a little word paddy kind of thing. Now it's actually a word processing program. So I have to do is look on my installed apps and find Google Docs, which it's like some neat little thing. You just kind of use your two fingers and you slide back and forth like that. Um, so I'm going to find Google Docs Docs. And when you it pops up in your browser, instead of a program coming up, taking a long time to come up, you get Google Docs. So I'll say, uh, hello, everyone. I love my, oops, forgot my, my punctuation. I love my Google Chromebook. Okay, so now it doesn't matter if I give it a title or not, which I can do that. I can just give it a title right there. I can call it, uh, love my book. Okay, that's, you know, just pops up, we see we're actually online using um, the web browser to do this. Now, even if I click it away, I don't have to save it, but it saves automatically. It's not like a PC. I'm not storing things on my computer, although when you use Google Docs, it does store a copy where you can edit it on your offline, and it sort of syncs it, where you have the online copy, the offline copy, and it's all synced. And this will take me right to the Google Web Store. And you have all kinds of apps. So say I want to find uh, an app for shoes. And then, um, well, of course, I don't, you know, I'm not that big on shoes, but we'll, we'll just say an app for shoes. Enter and say shoe TV. See? And so you can install all these different apps. Apps. It has um, all kinds of apps for you to install. Very, very nice. And as you, you heard, I was playing my NPR app when I first uh, turned on my computer so you can go here and what it does it's not like the radio station you can have the best of NPR which here's you know I've got a, a flow of programs if you like Firefox or Internet Explorer that that won't work this is a Google Chrome laptop it's got a Google Chrome browser it's got Gmail you can access your Yahoo email you can access your Hotmail it's even got a Yahoo email uh, app and a Hotmail app. You've got your Google Plus Hangout. You, you, don't, you can't Skype, but you've got Google Plus Hangout. And so what I can do is go onto Google Plus Hangout and set up a, a link with my Google Plus friends. So that kind of uh, makes you have to do Google Plus if you don't do it already. If you're in Facebook or whatever, this is kind of going to make you do Google Plus. So it's, got, it's kind of like taking a little bit getting used to but um, I love it, and, and I think you will too.